earliest memory of a library. Some of those really old Victorian buildings crammed full of books. It's just been let loose in this massive space. All the nice covers have been taken off them. My little cardboard library cards. I loved when the sticky labels were full as well and you got a new label put in. And a zigzaggy stand which had books slotted into it. You had to really work at it to find the books you wanted. All my childhood was in that library. It was just wonderful getting all the books out. And reading was hugely important to me as a kid. Choosing new books once every couple of weeks, taking a few home, reading them. So libraries were a big part of my childhood. The libraries have been completely crucial to my career as a writer. I wanted to be a writer because I wanted to write the stories that I was reading in the books that I got out of the library. Libraries, to be there to provide that, that range of reading and the staff, the librarians, to have the people there who can steer kids towards books that they know they're going to like. Libraries like bookshops to me are, are magic, you go, it's the smell of the library, it's the smell of all these books, it's all the possibilities, all the stories that you've yet to discover. Libraries underpin and enhance the learning experience, not only of children, but of adults. It's been such a valuable resource to me to have the opportunity, free of charge, to go in and spend those hours and, and get the kind of material that are required for the books. You know, when I go into the library now, uh, I am just blown away by the range that is on offer. But I would guarantee you that books, physical books that you can hold in your hands, touch, feel, smell, will still play a major part of people's lives and, and they will still be an important part for all life. Libraries are vital, absolutely vital. If we lose libraries, we lose a huge part of our culture. It's almost like reaching out past centuries to the person who wrote this particular volume. There's not a feeling like it in the world. They're really important in terms of the social aspect of it and obviously the reading aspect as well. Kids still love books, people still love books. They love the physical objects. They can share it, they can show it off, they like the cover, they're collectible. without reading, without gathering knowledge, without experiencing other worlds and other cultures and just other imaginations, I think we would be the poorer for it. Aberdeen City Library has loads of treasures of all sorts of descriptions from books to photographs, plans, manuscripts, loads and loads of things, things of interest. This treasures project is an amazing way of sharing all of that information, all of those treasures with the Aberdeen public.
libraries for me are absolutely vital as a, a, a author and illustrator. As I started to write books, I've realised just how important librarians are in introducing children to the sort of books that I write now. I'm not a great library user, but this is movie re-inspired me. <laughs> From what I've seen of it recently, it's a much more welcoming atmosphere and, uh, and, and much more um, oriented to children getting involved rather than just having books on the shelves. So I think they're trying really hard to do it. It's a fabulous occasion to celebrate 125 years for a central library. The public library is a university for the people. It's where you go to learn to find out. And that still is a great need. We have to celebrate an event like this and recognise the importance of the library service to the community and this is one of the great ways of doing it. Libraries are magic. They're magic places and the more that we can keep, the better. Use your library, enjoy your library and see what the library has to offer you now. It introduced me to the magic of reading. A treasury of words, ideas, poetry, and windows into the world.